Folks, got a little yellow jiffy bag through the post from China this morning and unsurprisingly it's another electronics kit from AliExpress and I think this kit's going to be quite an interesting one, hopefully you'll agree. Um, but as always I'll take you through the, the kit, the PCB, the components, any instructions we get and then we'll build it and hopefully test it. So without further ado, let's crack on. So the first thing we'll look at is the PCB and the first thing you'll notice is its dimensions. It's around 2cm wide by around 25cm long. And if we flip it over, um, we can see it's all silk screened with the components, which is nice. Um, it is a, a good quality PCB, as uh, we're quite often getting in these kits. Um, but looking at the silk screen, um, we've got a few passive components up here, some sort of switch. Um, we've got a row of LEDs. We've got space here for a microcontroller. We've got a serial header here, appears to be anyway. We've got an in-circuit serial programming header. Uh, a couple of switches and a few other passive components. And what this is, or what you or I would describe this as, is a POV wand or a POV stick. Persistence of vision stick. Um, of course, in typical AliExpress naming conventions, um, they have not uh, called it something simple like that. They have described this as LED shook his stick kit, flash the wand stick, microcontroller for AT89S5251 DIY Red. Yeah, <laughs> it's a POV wand. Um, if you don't know what a POV wand is, uh, I'll try and explain it in layman terms. Uh, POV, or the phenomenon that is POV, is um, basically how your brain perceives an image. Um, it takes a fraction of a second for your brain to process any image. Um, and if you think about looking at the sun or looking at a bright light and looking away, you can still see that image uh, for uh, you know a, a wee while afterwards. Um, but what this circuit does is it modulates this row of red LEDs. So it's firing each LED or certain LEDs, uh, turning them on at certain times over a fraction of a second. And when you move this quickly in front of your eyes or indeed a camera using a long exposure, uh, the light that is emitted from these LEDs is registered on your, on your retina and your brain will process that over the fraction of a second and, you know, basically by moving it and the light's firing at a different point on your retina, your brain will process those uh, bursts of light as an image. Uh, it could be a word, it could be a symbol or, or something like that. So that's basically what POV is and how it works. Um, so... That's the PCB. Let's have a look at the components. Get rid of the bag. Now we do get instructions. We do have some uh, Asian text on here, Chinese uh, text. So whether there's any English in it, I'm not sure. So let's uh, open it up. I'll just grab my knife. And, and what I will do is I'll probably, uh, as I quite often do, is I'll, I'll stop the video at certain points and, and put this uh, boring stuff on the board. Um, I'm sure you're fully aware of how to, to solder now. If not, please look at some of my earlier videos. Um, somebody did ask me if I could do a dedicated um, soldering tutorial video. So I may do that in the future. But Yep, we've got some uh, Chinese uh, with a list of... Uh, components and that is it there's there's nothing no instructions at all so hopefully some of you will find this uh, useful if you're building it yourself so look at the components I've already talked uh, through the main things as in what we've seen in the silk screen but um, I suppose this is um, one of the interesting items we've got a little uh, spring switch uh, as you can see there uh, there's a spring uh, which is attached to this end here and on this end we have got a weighted sort of contact so you can't hear that doesn't make a noise but basically when you move that fast the spring and the the inertia of inertia is that the word i can't remember but basically the weight of that when you move it it's going to uh, spring hit this other contact and make a circuit um and that is up here. So that's going to fit on there. When we move it, that's going to turn the, the, the thing on. Um, yep, there's a little ISP header there. Uh, got a crystal switch, a few LEDs, another switch there, and a couple of pieces of hardware, presumably for mounting the uh, battery holder on the PCB. Um, and we do have our microcontroller here, which is taped onto the um, 
taped onto the, the socket. Which is actually quite a nice uh, way of packaging it because the pins haven't actually been bent, which is quite often the case with these kits. Um, and as we can see, it's uh, an AT89S52, as I said before. So presumably this is already programmed with some sort of demo, uh, you know, demo programming on it for for this. Um, I haven't uh, even attempted to look to see how we actually program this if we want to use in the header, but. I may do that in another video. But of course, uh, in this case, uh, we're just going to build the actual kit and test it. So, um, looking at the kit, I think what we'll do, as always, is put the uh, low-profile components in. Um, on here, I'm not sure whether there's going to be enough space uh, to um, put the components underneath. We may just get away with putting the components underneath the, the IC rather than having them on the back. Um, but I'll look at that and um, I'll probably start the video once, I've, uh, once I get to this point. So if you bear with me, I'll uh, start putting the basic components in. Uh, first thing, uh, sorry, last thing I should say before I do pause the video is check your LEDs. A couple of kits I've had through and a couple of um, packages of LEDs that I've bought in bulk have came through and they have been the wrong uh, polarity. Generally, the uh, longer lead is the anode and the shorter lead is the cathode, so positive and negative. Um, and some of them have been the wrong way around, so it's quite handy just using a CR2032 or something like that, CR2025, something like that. Um, just pop it on and make sure, and there we go. Positive is uh, the anode, on, you know, the longer lead is the anode on these LEDs. So just... Uh, top tip really today is just make sure you check your leds when you get them through from china especially if they're really cheap i found that if it's bulk leds i bought that have been significantly cheaper than usual they tend to be the ones that are the wrong way around so there we go anyway rambling on catch you in a moment okay folks welcome back right that's the so most of the passive stuff put in uh, switches sockets um, and the LEDs themselves. I've uh, put this uh, motion switch, or whatever you want to call it, movement switch, and I've not trimmed the leads in this just in case it needs a bit of tweaking, maybe needs to go in a different orientation, but I think that's the right way. Um, but the next thing to do is obviously have a look at the um, where the components are going to go in here. And I do think, uh, if we look at this here, our crystal should go in and stay below. Our cap, I'll just put it in like that, but you know, on its side, uh, will fit in there. And these uh, 22 picofarad uh, ceramic caps will fit in there quite the thing as well. Let's just make sure. Yeah, as you can see, those are all going to go underneath, and if we put it right on its edge, you'll see that uh, the chip is is not the IC is not going to touch the top of those. So I will pause the video again and, and finish up soldering this header up, uh, not header, sorry, um, socket, and then I'll uh, start the video again. Bear with me. Welcome back, folks. Right, we're nearly there. Um, I did a little fail. Um, I cut the leads too short on the uh, battery holder. Uh, so what I've done is I've just uh, soldered directly onto the terminals and they do take care if you do this because if you put too much heat the the uh, contacts will just uh, heat up and then melt the surrounding plastic and then fall off so i think it's going to be easier uh, just to solder this in first and then sort of wiggle about the wires uh, to get it into position so i'll just let gravity do its job there and we'll solder the uh, battery wires in like so <clears throat> excuse me and we'll just trim those off like so okay so those look uh, fairly good and then what we'll do is we'll pop uh, one of the screws and through the battery holder and onwards through the PCB and we'll just put that finger tight just now and then put the other screw in 
Uh, now, while I'm doing this, I will chat a little. Um, just be careful if you're building this kit. Um, half the LEDs are one way around, half the LEDs are the other way around. It is marked on the silk screen, but it's just something to be aware of. Um, as I was uh, putting them in, I just uh, happened to glance at the silk screen and realised I was starting to put them in the, the wrong way. Luckily, before I soldered it up, but uh, just something to be aware of. So I'll just grab the nut in one hand and tighten up the screw in the other. Like so. And do the same with the other one. And that is our board complete. <clears throat> so as you can see, fully populated um, and all trimmed up by the switch, which I already uh, mentioned. So next thing to do is um, put the IC in. So as you can see, the notch is in the left here. Uh, and sorry, just while I'm here, you can see negative there and then it switches to positive here yeah, so just be wary of that so we will pop our IC in and don't apply too much pressure if it's not going in just uh, double check but it is in uh, nice and it's not touching the components we've got a little bit of clearance about a millimetre of clearance and uh, yeah that's us so we'll put it off and we'll pop some batteries in and we'll see what happens hopefully something will batteries in let's turn it on right so we've got a single led at the top here i'll presumably if i press this switch no it's not doing anything so I'll, I'll move it right and it is doing something so if i turn the light off hopefully you might be able to see something here Hello again folks, sorry about the jump cut, um, I finished recording the, the video and watched it back and realised you couldn't actually see this working on camera and that was down to my really poor technique. So I've tweaked my technique and I've actually got it working. So the key is not to move your arm, I was moving my whole arm but the key is to just, uh, or the trick is just to move the wrist, use the wrist joint to, to make this function. And what you want to do is move it from left to right. Um, constantly around somewhere between sort of 10 and 14 inches something like that so if we do that now we can see hopefully certainly with the, the mark one eyeball i can see a lovely uh, love heart let's see hopefully it'll come out on camera this time if we press the button again we get some sort of random ears looks like rabbit ears or somebody's face something that might be a, a chinese or japanese character something like that i'm not quite sure then we get some uh chinese text or asian text uh, it's three pages long this and <clears throat> excuse me finishes with an exclamation mark so hopefully if it is coming out in camera one of my chinese subscribers i know there's a couple of you uh, hopefully one of you might be able to walk that out and uh, if you can please put it in the comments below. That'd be quite interesting to, to know what it says. And last but not least, we get uh, the words love in English. And again, it's coming out uh, to the naked eye. It's actually quite clear. Hopefully the camera again will be picking that up. Um, but I thought it'd be quite interesting as well, uh, just to show you what happens when you shot the, um, the switch. And that's basically all the LEDs come on. And you cannot, uh, with a naked eye, you cannot obviously uh, interpret those turning on and off. It's just happening so quick because it has to do that for that uh, persistence, of, uh, persistence of vision effect to work. But there we go. Um, hopefully you found this video interesting. Um, it's a really simple kit to build. I haven't really went into detail with the components, but they really can't go anywhere they, they shouldn't uh, only the resistors uh, there's two types of resistor a one and a half and sorry one and a half k and a 10k resistor so um, if you're not sure what the resistor colors are well there's a, a close-up there um and what do you call it um if you're not sure you can obviously just uh, resist uh, do the resistor color code in google type in uh you know 1.5k resistor and it will tell you the colour code on Google, it's quite handy that way um, I will take this opportunity to remind you that the competition is still open for the prize draw um, I'll link uh, down below, in fact just here there will be um, 
the video link to the video where you can go and comment and enter the prize draw that should be getting drawn in a couple of weeks time and um yeah just give us a bit of feedback and you might win something i'll post something out to you um so yeah if you enjoyed this video uh as always please give me the thumbs up if you did if you didn't give me the thumbs down and if you'd like to subscribe you can click on my fat head here <laughs> until next time guys take care of yourselves and all the best